What is up everybody? It is FaZe Clan here and today I'm back with another video. In today's video we're going to be doing some shenanigans with GTA Roleplay also known as 5M. As you know this channel is a tinkering channel mostly based around Minecraft but today we're going to be expanding and tinkering with 5M and the reason for this video is because I am banned on a lot of servers but this has already happened before and I've ban evaded and I'm going to show you how to do it. What you will need for this tutorial will be a VPN and new accounts for 5M, Steam, Rockstar Games, and Discord which is optional if your server requires a Discord link to count. Finally, you will need to install Revo Uninstaller which will help us completely uninstall 5M. So we're going to start with this server that is pretty famous in the community. It's called PMA and it's always full. Not right now though because it is almost 9 a.m. I'm on a good sleep schedule for once, but we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, so I join and it's going to deny my connection eventually. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so it restarted with the right resources and there you go. The owner is uh, automatically denying my connection from console and the reason is modder so there you go <laughs> now you know how i am banned from pma so i'm gonna get into everything on how to ban evade and by the way this is not my method i will link it in the description it's from slothytech.com and we're gonna be walking through it i'm not sure if there's a video made on this article nor is there a video really made about ban evading correctly so hopefully this will work for you guys as it has for me. Now let's move on to the first step. If you want to go ahead and install one program that I would require for this, it is called Revo Uninstaller. This is what it looks like. And it helps you find traces left behind of programs that you may have uninstalled. Because if you didn't know, 5M leaves a lot of paper trail in your registry or regedit. Anyways, we'll come back to that. First thing you want to do is log out of Steam. As you can see, I'm logged into Tyrone Gibson. This is obviously an alias, as I would recommend every time you make a 5M account. Collectively, you need a Steam account, you need a Discord account, and you need a 5M account, which I will look at later. But starting with Steam, let's log out. Next, we want to delete some uh, 5M temporary data or uh, local data on your machine. So uh, these are all my videos I have. We can start by going to percent app data percent. This is a shortcut I learned from Minecraft. Then you can go back a folder, go into local. Then we can look for digital entitlements. And this is what 5M creates, I believe. We're gonna shift, delete, enter, and it's gone. The next step we're going to do is part of the Revo uninstaller as I told y'all about. Let's go to Revo uninstaller, open it right here. It will want you to buy a premium version, but you can just use the free of course. We are going to search for 5M by clicking in here, then typing 5, oh, 5M. Okay, now we can click on it and uninstall. And you can choose to make a system restore point. You don't really need to unless something's going to corrupt in this case, but it's not. Okay. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. And there you go. It's deleting all your items in there. And it still won't be deleted from the list. And that's why we're going to select advance in the scanning mode scan. As you can see, even though we've uninstalled everything, there are a lot of paper trail as I was telling you about earlier. So select all and delete, yes. And as you can see, we still have a few more files left. So again, select all, delete, yes. And as you can see, nothing is left. If we search again for 5M, we have nothing there. You are now done with 5M. So as you remember, we logged out of Steam and the next step is to log out of Discord as well. Now that we've logged out of Steam and Discord, you've guessed it, the next step is to log out of Rockstar Games Social Club Launcher. So while we're signing out of the Rockstar Games, we have to have the important chat of whether you want to have a Rockstar account for GTA or a Steam account for GTA. 
And what I would recommend to you is to go to G2A.com and pick yourself up one of the Rockstar game keys because they are cheaper than Steam, at least on G2A, which is what I prefer to use. You might have a source where you can buy, you know, Steam GTA accounts for $4, Rockstar Game accounts for $4. It's your choice, but make sure that it's not banned on 5M. It should be a fresh account. So for me, that starts with making a brand new email, which I'll do through Outlook. You can do it on Gmail if that's easy for you. Some servers use Discord to authenticate your account. So don't forget to have a new Discord on standby just in case that server requires it. Through this process, I would absolutely recommend using a password manager such as Dashlane. And there we go, first account done for Discord. So now that I have purchased a Rockstar GTA key off of G2A, I can now log in and the game will appear and I'll be able to download it. I've already downloaded it, so hopefully I can just find the install location or Rockstar will do that for me automagically. There we go, it says play, so I'm all set to go on Rockstar and Discord and Steam is next. And now you can see I've got three accounts, Discord, Rockstar, and Steam, all brand new and ready to be used. Next, we're gonna go to the 5M forums and make an account here. And finally, once all that is done, we can go ahead and download the 5M client right here, accept, and we can install that. Run, and don't forget you must be on a VPN as well and you have to sign into Rockstar with that new account you just created. It's gonna ask us to link our 5M account with Discord, and if you know you're gonna play or hack on a server that requires Discord, then of course authorize it. And then log in to your 5M account that you made on the 5M forums. Look at that, we are all set, and we're on a VPN, brand new accounts all around. Let's check in the settings just to make sure. As you can see, all of these are relatively similar. I kind of make an alias for this whole process, as you should, and it looks like we're all set. And finally, back to the original server I tried to join at the start of the video, connect. And you'll notice if I was banned, I would never get this far, the, all the assets for the server wouldn't be loading onto my computer right now, but it has verified me and I'm ready to go. And we're just about done here downloading all the resources and look at that I'm back on after being banned. That didn't even take an hour. I totally overcomplicated how easy it was to ban evade on the server and I'm surprised that nobody was able to tell me how to do this. I had to go and find it for myself and not even on YouTube was I really able to discover this. So that's it guys, the link to Revo Uninstaller G2A and my Viper VPN affiliate link will be in the description. My next 5M video will include me cheating with Yulin. If you haven't heard of it, it's a very reliable cheat for 5M and I'll be showing that off because it's a lot of fun. Until then, y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one.